Hey guys, it's HFT Plumbing here and today I'm going to do a detailed look of this 2009 Kohler Cimarron. So, as you guys notice here, as you guys notice here, uh, this toilet was installed in the bathroom right by the living room. It's that, uh, that, uh, I'm in, like, bathroom or whatever, but, yeah, I'll show it to you in the end of the video, though. I'll show it the bathroom at the end of the video. But, uh, first, I'm going to do a detailed look of this thing, so, yeah. Anyways, let's start off the logo. It says Kohler, 1.6 gallons, 6 liters per flush or less. Let me see if it has a chance to focus. If it doesn't focus, I'll move on. Ah, nah, I won't focus, so I'll move on. Uh, next, I'm going to go through the rim. So, yeah, let's go through the rim. I have nothing much to say about the rim, but yeah, I'm just going to take a few second look of it this way. Okay, let's move on, uh, now, let's, now let's go to the rim. That crack here, it appeared like around 2014 or something like that. I don't know when. It appeared there because it was made in China, though. It did not even have that before when it was just brand new and from box. As you can see right here, those seven rim jets are bigger than the ones, the rest of them on the bowl. And you want to know what they're meant for to do? Uh, they're meant to push the waist down. They're meant to help the waist go down. Like for example, if it's right here, like right here, uh, it, pushes, it pushes it down. It helps to push, uh, they help the push the TP down or whatever what kind of stuff to go in the trapway they help all the stuff here that goes here to go down so that's what they're meant to do they're meant to help uh, push waste down now let's go through the spud Saying on my 1991 Rialto. You know, as you can see here, uh, there are two uh, channel. No, no, no. This is actually a whole channel, actually. So, as you can see here, there are two. There are two holes. And I believe that there's one right there, too, but I don't know if you can see it or not. You can kind of see it though, but not completely. Not the best. And now I'm going to show you how the flush design works. So, 
the water all starts here and and uh, it goes right here and uh, and right here and right here and when the actually there's one there's some water going right here but not as much as this and that and when uh these three go right here these three uh lines of water going uh it goes right it goes like this And then the water goes to the siphon jet and starts to shoot water. And the pressure goes to the siphon jet first before the before it even hits the rim jets. But you wanna know why? Because You, know, you want to know why? Because uh, if the siphon jet was big as the spot, uh, it wouldn't rinse correctly, right? It would just uh, all the water would just go straight down to the siphon jet. The, the rims would not do anything. It would just have a crappy flush, so it just wouldn't do its job right. But if that siphon jet was smaller, the rim would be more powerful. I unblocked the siphon jet and those two jets were more powerful. They were like this, like about here. Shooting water very hard. So yeah. And anyways, I'll show you guys the front. But now, nothing much to say about it. I'm going to show you guys the back of it. I'm sitting on my Rialto again. One of my Rialtos. Again, I have nothing much to say about this. But that design wasn't on the previous generation Cimarron. Is what I know. Now I'm going to show you guys the trapway though. I have nothing to say about it, but it goes like this. And then there's a hole right there. I'm going to show you guys the other side of the trapway. And now I'm going to show you guys the inside of the start of the trapway. I'm going to show you guys the inside of the start of the trapway right now. I'm going to try showing you the same jet. 
This is how far I can go. But if I go any farther, the phone will start to do some. Like if I just go back to the, uh... To the... To the... Wallpaper. With, a with apps. Now it's now it's do now it's uh whip it upside down. Okay, here's the underbase of it. Uh, you can see right here that's the Siphon Jet channel, part of a Siphon Jet channel. That's from the rim. It's a front fed toilet, a front fed uh, Siphon Jet toilet. Part of the psych jet and then it goes here and then right here I believe this is part of the trapway, I believe. A little part of the trapway. Look. Next I'm gonna show you the just a few second look at the hole on your base. Okay, let's go through inside the end of the trapway. Okay. And that hole is meant for is to dry out uh the the uh the porcelain. For this line here, or else if it didn't have that, this part would just be all wet still. Now let's go through the stuff, all the stuff that says in the ball. So first, uh, we're gonna go by those four numbers here. Three, four, nine, two. I don't know what they mean by. You can comment down below. And right here, it says U C U P C. And then right here it says uh K dash four three all nine color co. There we go. Right here, it says one one five period two three two seven, and then the correct date is right here, oh six twenty ninth two thousand nine. And then the wrong day is right by the barcode. I swear they mistakenly stamped it at the wrong time. I'm gonna start with the code. Uh, SFS39RSRF. Right here it says 6 2009 That's the wrong date right here. The correct one is, uh, is actually right over here. And then right here it says China. And right here, another model number stamp. 4309. There was a craft in China sticker like about right here, but I took it off. But now I'm gonna show you guys the 
the uh, bathroom right by the living room. That's all I have to show for this toilet. So let's go do it now. Okay, here's the bathroom right by the living room. You can see that the cadet is in its place now. And you want to know the story? Like, you want to know the story? Like, uh, when I disobeyed my parents, so... First, uh, I asked him if I could replace the Cimarron. And he said no. And then I snuck into doing it, and then I replaced it with a 1988 American Standard Cadet. And then I replaced a 1988 American Standard Cadet with this thing, which performs better. Now, the toilet here, that the toilet is told it's actually better than the 1988 American Standard Cadet, in my opinion. Honestly. But, yeah. So, right here, you can see the marking of the Cimarron right here, going like that. But since I just obeyed my parents though, supposed to be, the Cimarron is supposed to be in this bathroom by now, because if I didn't just obey my parents, the Cimarron could have been still here, you know? On my opinion, the Cimarron was decent though. But I replaced it because it wasn't appropriate for this house because this house was built in 1954. I just really wish I, I respect them better, you know? Or sometimes they were cringe, sometimes we don't respect, yeah. But anyways. Let's give this thing a flush. I'm only gonna give it a flush because I already was shot in this toilet like a, like a while ago. I'm gonna shot again when it's already a year past. When I uh, since it's been a year, if it's if it's been a year when I last was shot, yeah. So I'm only gonna give you a flush for now. So here's the flush. You okay. guys. Good flush. And you wanna know when the, the sink was installed? The sink was installed since 2010. You know, when this bathroom was just remodeled. And this toilet was installed in 2019. And probably this bathtub was not probably installed in 1983, though. I looked at the web at a website called realtor.com and said that this tub, no, 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 that this house was last sold in 1983. This, this bathtub could be installed in 1982 or 1983. So, yeah. And this design here, when you remodel the bathroom, that's why I don't like about the bathroom model. They did this, like mom did this, all this. That's why I don't like about it. But, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye, and. Uh, and the Cimarron was installed before this bathroom was remodeled. So, want to know what they did in 2006? They, uh, they, they probably covered the plastic or... Yeah, they covered the plastic, uh tiling with uh with another plastic tiling though it was in red 
that's when the water flight was there that time now water flight was installed like around 2006 or, six or seven something like that I don't know when this bathroom first uh, looks pretty good good back in 2010 and now look at this there's a crack right there those are replacements uh, there's a crack right there and there's a There's a crack right there as well. And uh and there's a crack right there. The bathroom is all beaten up, kind of though, but not completely though. When it gets completely beaten up, it's time for a rem remodel, another remodel. So yeah. So I have to talk about about this bathroom. So bye bye.